we were in a furniture store. I don't care. And the uh, the salesman told us that the, the sofa. I don't care. Their seats don't five care. people without any problems. Don't care. And I I said, so where am I going to find five people without any problems? <sighs> I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. I'll say Instagram, Twitter for more juice Scott. I think it's Rachel Rolls. Threads, Threads baby. No. Talk to me on Threads. That's do where not, I am. Do not follow him on Threads. Yes. Uh, there's, a, there's at this point, there's 3,000 of you, so thank you. Mwah. Today we got a interview. This is called The Icon. <laughs> the what? So we got... Um, oh, Icons. Sorry, I saw the spelling. You freaked me out there for a minute. I thought it had something to do with your eyeballs. So this is uh, three legendary actresses. We'll decide if they're legends or not. Yeah. Uh, Supriyapathic, Ratnapathic, Shah, and Twinkle Kana. So you Twinkle Kana, you know, this is Nasir's wife. This yep. is Shahid's stepmom. Yep. Uh, okay, we will we will concur, and that makes it official. They're legends. Um, but they basically they talk about any, everything from life to working to awesome. Is this recent? I assume. Yeah. To great. Two weeks ago or something like that. Cool. Um, so it, it kind of just dropped, but those awesome. are three actresses who know what they're talking about. Yes, they do. And which is, this will hopefully be a lot of fun. Here we go. <coughs> men with beards. How did you men? Did you know before you met Nasi? So, so many good looking no. guys in college. I used to uh, yeah. drool. Oh, no, I had no. eyes. No. <laughs> no, you didn't. You only had eyes for Nasi. Are you before? No, 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 talking no, before. No, no. Anyway. <laughs> I'm already loving it. Okay, no, I'm back. Oh, you are different. Hey, hey, Zaddy! Zaddy. <laughs> 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 oh, these are all these yeah. are all Twinkle's interviews. <laughs> so I guess Twinkle is the um, interview host. Yes, yeah, the interviewer. You want to go scuba diving? Serious? Sitting there going. Oh, you're sitting there. Oh, you're sitting there. Oh, you're sitting there. Poppy. So this is the first time that we have a duo as our icons because uh, honestly nobody could decide which sister was more talented. Do y'all believe uh, that one of you is more talented than the other? Let me just biologic. You both into trouble straight away. Yeah, I, I think, think uh, uh, Supriya is more talented. Well, I think it's it's nice. certain matters. Yes. New news. Very nice. uh, no, 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 no. They're no, sisters. <laughs> No, no, Holy shit. You know, we have what a family. talented family. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, nepotism, turn this off. I think both of us have very distinct wow. personalities and distinct ways of working. Saying which one of us, it, it depends upon every performance. We go one at a time. <laughs> having to make choices like that. Yeah. Which is the best, which is the first. But I was just good. doing this so that y'all will start with yeah. a little bit of conflict. Yes. So yes. <laughs> spice this oh, up right oh, in the oh, picture. I know your little trick. <laughs> And yes, we but we have a lot of spice for you in India. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we all have cornered the entire market as far as talent is concerned in the industry. Both of y'all, your spouses. What exactly are y'all putting in those doklas? <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, we can't tell you. <laughs> please give me any some of that talent, so yeah, please. No, it's, it's an interest which somehow permeates the whole family. So the conversations all focus around acting or film or theater or something like that. Also, Good I God. Add the all the what a family. Our mom, the bubble from, for the Is there a more talented family? From her in the I don't know, man. The fact that um, she was a live wire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you talk about thespianatic yeah. capacity. Every one of them. Was as a bomb. Wow. You know, I mean, even at a later age, it was all. So we kind of, got the residue of the bomb so and now we are trying to create our own bombs but that's a different matter but that came from her and as for Nasir and uh, Pankaj I think uh, they are uh, their own bombs they, 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 are, and, they have just have done it you know that Nasir was the trigger for me to become interested yeah. in acting I took it much more lightly yeah. because I think uh, everyone did at that time my yeah. mother too yeah she was extremely invested in acting when she was younger when she was running her own theatre company in Ahmedabad. But later, by the time she got into films, and that's the time I remember watching her, 
She was doing such mediocre work, poor thing. Yeah. Was she? I remember in Golmal. I mean, that iconic Golmal. From Golmal. Tell me another. Khubsurat. Khubsurat. There was one more. Mohan. Yeah, exactly. Mohan Joshi Hazir Ho. Yeah, I remember that. Much later. But for the most part, she was just playing sad mom in the background. But that was, Didi, I think also at that time, those were the kind of roles that were there. I'm not mm. making any judgmental stand about it. That's what we, at least I, thought acting was about more or less. This this business that acting was more than that came to me thanks to two people, the seed of course, but Satyadev Dubey. So I also worked with Satyadev Dubey and I think he gave up on me. One day he said, I can't take it anymore. He locked me in a room and he said, till you can actually imagine that there are roses here and smell the roses and see them. I'm not going to smell them. Uh, I was there for nine hours. <laughs> but I also have the same thing. I really learned about acting when I met Pankaj. Mm. It was that his process and his understanding of what he was oh, doing, word. why he was doing it, watching him. Well, you both mastered it. Uh, kind of triggered something in my head. I think mm. you're giving them too much importance because I remember that you started in plays. Your mom was directing a lot of Gujarati plays and there was a play where she decided not to cast your elder sister because she felt your elder sister was, didn't have the right devotion yeah. or something like yes, that. And that's yes. how... Yes, That's absolutely. how I start, one started. I didn't want to be an actor. I mean, literally, everybody in my house, it was very strange. My dad used to have a lot of, uh, our dad used to throw a lot of parties. And uh, sisters? After helping me set up the party, I know. Like, go into my room. Those were the lights and sit in there. It's like Inception. The whole party didn't get over. And what was your sister doing? She was the buzzing around. Buzzing around. Buzzing around. <laughs> buzzing around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And there used to be such fights. Yes. And did. such conversations. Oh, yes. And we would have major battles because <laughs> my dad uh, was a businessman. <laughs> he was uh, an RSS man. Uh, uh, <laughs> completely different kind of family background. My mother is this actress, a <laughs> communist party member at one point, mm -hmm. and a completely bizarre. So they had two kinds sets of friends, and they'd all mix them up together. I don't know how and why. But dad used was, to love that. Yes, he used to love calling pure combustion. Who would have ignite, and then he would he <laughs> watch it click <laughs> like, like that. You know, a little bit of a conversation, and it would all flare up, and he'd go on the side and watch. <laughs> <laughs> Right? I mean, no one knows that those Guru Kurtas that became really famous, they were done by your dad. He was doing all the costumes. So you said that you would hide in the room and you were taking dancing on the yeah. table. <laughs> dancing on the table. Did you bully her a lot? Yes, of course. Why would you do that? What are big sisters meant for? <laughs> Younger sisters meant for. We have to be bullied. At the point of I cried a lot, which is not true. I never did. <laughs> you made her cry a lot. That's what happened. No, no, I was a cranky child. Really, honestly, I'm being very honest. I was a cranky child. I remember crying at the drop of a hat, and I could, and lots of tears with, you know, not just her, but real tears yep. coming out. Clearly, you didn't need glycerin yeah. all throughout that. Yeah. She's never used glycerin. I've, I've never used it. <laughs> and my sister bullied me, but again, in a similar manner, where she would hit me. And because she was smaller in size, I wouldn't hit her. And then she would go and say that I've attacked her. <laughs> and because I was 300 kgs heavier than her, she, uh, everyone believed Sounds her. Sounds like an eldest child. Never hit no, never hit me, never hit me. She never hit me, but you know what she used to do, which is... Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I used emotional blackmail. Yeah. Like any good yeah. girl would. <laughs> Like, you know, there was a window, no, way. There was a window in, in dad and mom's room, which had, well, it didn't have even a ledge. It was just like a, this thing, and the window opened, and there was an AC. So she knew that she wouldn't fall. Uh, but she would go and put one <laughs> over the other side and say, and say, if you don't do this, I will jump off. That's very dramatic. I must yeah. say, that's, that's how you learn how to but she, knew, <laughs> but, but she knew that there was that, and I never knew that that AC car duct was then nothing could happen to Darling, her. acting is all about creating. <laughs> <laughs> I was Acting is about being a very good liar. So I guess you started early. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so both of you decided you wanted to be actresses. At what point did you figure that out? Were you very young or? I was going to be an air hostess. <laughs> because all my friends were going to be air hostesses. So I said, I'm going to be an air hostess. <laughs> but uh, in nine, class nine, there was a mono acting competition in school. And I did something for that, and I was... Rani or Jhansi? Rani or Jhansi. You didn't do something. You made history for our school. I had to hear it all my life in school. And then they would look at me and say, You're Ratna's sister. Look at, you know, it was like... 
because uh, I was introduced to him by Dubey. By that time, Dubey had <laughs> yes. you know got rid of a lot of his teeth. So you could understand the world would do whatever thing with the best time, you know, it would be like that. <laughs> so he sort of na named Nasir, but I couldn't hear it. I heard Shivendra Sinha for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> so you're calling him Shivendra? No, no, but Shivendra. as we went to the, uh, when we went for rehearsal, then Nasir introduced himself to the rest of the cast. So then I heard it's Nasiruddin Shah. <laughs> but first then Shivendra Sinha. <laughs> Nasiruddin Shah, Shivendra, you did it. You still did it. You still did it. And what about you? Where did you meet? Uh, we Pankhari. were doing a film together. That film was made only for us to meet. Because <laughs> it never got released. And we just, just hit it off. That sucks. We both had a lot of backlog, a lot of history, but we just, it just happened. Mm -hmm. By the time we finished the film, we confessed to each other and, you know, I went my way and he went his and then we got back in Mumbai together. And that film never saw uh, the release. <laughs> I met my husband on a set and I wish that film had not seen that light. But unfortunately, it, we are doing yeah. bad. The moving finger rights and yeah. having rich moves on. Yes. <laughs> the only thing good about it was that we met. Yeah. yeah. But um, both of you all sort of enter these blended families. Did you get married first? Did she get married first? I got married first. Yeah, so when she got married, did you give her advice? Ah, who was going to take that advice? I tried. By then, by then, I, I think I let got, her, which was very yeah, sentimental yeah. and all that. Yeah, thing. you did. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> tried, but I didn't listen didn't to anybody. Work. And uh, by then, I had kind of come to a point where I didn't want to listen to anybody. Yeah. I had quite made up my mind. And uh, my mother, till the last, uh, few years of her life still tried changing my mind after two children also. She kept saying he will leave you, huh? And I said, no, okay, now what? What <laughs> How many years? Yeah, it's been so many years and she still kept telling me, okay, you made a mistake. Oh, okay. wow. I said, now it's okay. I'll manage. Did she say that to you as well? Of course, she was a great warrior. Yeah, she, she could did. worry about anything at any time of night or day. So she so, yeah. was not very much of a support, but I think Ratna Didi, you kind of come yeah, came around. Came around. I mean, yeah. she was so obviously happy. So what was the yeah. point? But you also came into families. There were already children there, and so what's the difference? Or what would you tell other people in blended families? How I'm a blended do you family. When there's, you know, he already has a family, and you have to enter that and make sure that that child is also, you know, loved and included. What is the advice that you would give women? The seed gave me some very good advice, which. I don't think uh, I've followed, hmm. he certainly hasn't, but <laughs> happened, except in Deepa's case, that it's best not to give too much of a name to a relationship, husband, wife, mother, son, etc. You know, these these things become straight jackets. Hmm. If you keep the relationship a bit, a bit flexible, it helps. And with Heba, that definitely did help. Both of us happened to be in a situation where we could keep it flexible. Mm. I give all credit to Heba because she was the younger one. She was the one who was having to make all the really tough uh, adjustments to a new world. So uh, we, we just decided to try and take it as, let's see how this develops from both sides. And luckily it developed well. What about I personally felt that, uh, see I, I, I met uh, Shahid when he was very, I, when he was six years old. Mm. So for me, he was the cutest baby I've seen. He was such a lovely child. He was very warm and he did not have any uh, defined reactions towards me and nor did I have them to. So when we met, it was kind of instantly liking each other mm. as people. And I think that is what just carried on. Though of course there were lots of times when he was not with us because mm -hmm. here luckily Heba was, was with, with us him. all the time. With us it was not like that. So there was these times when he, whenever he would come but there would always be a kind of uh, we kind of uh, reacted to each other's people and mm -hmm. I do agree with uh, Ratanidhi that do not be flexible things. a little bit. I think even my own children exactly. I don't I think really it is what have any name, I don't know. This is my daughter, this is my son. Really, no. They are my friends. They are, really. My daughter and my younger son are so much of my friends that I can't call them my son and daughter. 
मुझे लगता है बहुत मतलब कौन यू नो समथिंग स्टार्ट टॉकिंग और रूहान और सना इज ओ योर चिल्ड्रन I say it'd be very bad if you were a step so it's like parent that, and you called you you had a real son so, and then I you said this is my real son right and then this is my stepchild so every time i've tried that's trauma for a child yeah the name it hasn't worked i am a stepchild so i know I like my that. stepdad did not like do that my, this is my niece now let me have a relationship with this niece it doesn't work I'm actually going to try this advice. Yeah. I I think it's yeah. quite nice because you're just reacting to people and as now people. that your children are older it's so much easier to yeah. do because when they're young you are responsible yeah. for them and what they will do. But now now that my kids are older I mean I really don't have to yeah. think of them as my kids. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can just think of them as human beings. I mm-hmm. don't like some of the things that they do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. I really admire some of the things that they do. Absolutely. Because I would with you or with him or with anyone. Yep. Yeah, I that's think that's a nice feeling. feeling. It's a nice feeling. I think that's too. a nice way to go about life. It's just not your life. Fine. Both of you are now in your 6th decade. Yes. Mm. When you look back, what do you think has been your best decade? Oh. After I got married to Pankaj. Mm. This one is a dark. <laughs> 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 oh my god. I'd say 40 to 50 for me. And even after you? because I'm doing the most The one I'm in now. now. Nice. 50s. So, yes. So 40 onwards. I think life really began for me at 40. So many people say that and it is very very true. Yeah. Why Even people I, make I have such a fuss problem. about being a teenager. I'd like to be sweet 60 for God's sake. Heck no, I, I wouldn't want to be a teenager again. 16. I hated everything yeah. about me at 16. I, I know you have to think young. about the I I have to think about so 60. Things. For some yeah. reason I was 60. 60 in my head. Yeah. I'm still waiting. <laughs> yeah, so I, I mean actually I feel very young because I'm not yet 60. <laughs> that was my goal. Yeah. yeah. I feel perfectly young at 60 also. I mean I feel more settled in my yeah, head about yeah. many things. I don't have the same um kashmakash that I had as a younger person. But really, I and know also, today you know, it's, it's so, so nice wonderful. you don't have to think about how you're looking all the time and don't have to think about you know either either I I make the right impression or you're not. Oof, I'm, I was so tired doing that, you know, through your whole young age you have to constantly think about actors working well into their old age i saw actresses all over the world doing absolutely stunning work at all kinds of ages and then it struck me that i want to act my whole life i don't want to be worried about the way i'm looking that's not what acting means to me that was a great release that really made me feel that i've got something else to work towards women can get really bogged down in this business of looking pretty i see young girls around me on a set and i really worry for them sometimes because it's such a narrowing vision it makes you look at yourself in such a narrow mm. way yeah yeah i Dangerous mean that's stuff. even when i was talking to mom i think we were speaking about this and that's the whole thing once you pass a certain age that yeah. worry kind of fades away yes, mm-hmm. and slowly and yeah in fact it's this age i find a little tricky because you are in your 40s but everybody expects you to look like you are in your 20s mm. and i think when you cross over and you're actually 60 yeah. you can say okay now you know so this is nice. it's done it's so nice yeah. really nice so i and we you also your... you also get a seat when you there's somebody they all stand up and you can see this very use your age very very cleverly very nice fun so it's great fun mm. yeah and it's also true that today a woman my age one gets work mm. two gets respect and nobody looks down at me and says are bichari buddhi etc so this is a different world it's a and different also, but only mood. you should be healthy that's one thing yes. that's huge about old getting older the only thing that really scares or worries you is how is it going to affect you physically if you ever get down to that state then i'm a little worried about yeah. that otherwise growing old take care of yourself No, just now you said buddhi and aunty still people use that yeah, you know yeah. as an insult yeah. so what would you tell anybody who will call you a buddhi and an aunty what is your answer beta tum bhi aa jaoge thoda sa ruk jao tum bhi aa jaoge isi line pe and you can always do the beta number 
yeah. talk down to them beta fun <laughs> i think that works yeah. one last thing what is your secret to having this long and successful career how did you all manage this two sisters <laughs> Long, yes. They have that sister Not look. So successful for Very a long successful. time mm-hmm. for me, but now is yes. So how did I manage it? I don't know. I don't remember doing anything consciously except keeping on working at the business of acting. Mm. I find that very interesting. I like thinking about it. I like practicing. I like and theatre has definitely helped. The fact that I do theatre regularly and I don't just act in the theatre. I have come go to India. I would love to see a play. That really a lot of these people, right? Yes. Um, uh, free and open in my head and looking forward to tomorrow. Wow. And so Priya ji, I think what has really kept me going uh is we uh my whole life is uh, the necessity to be happy in contented in whatever I do. Mm-hmm. And uh, I never felt that uh, it has been a uh, low or a bad time because i think this is what it was supposed to be and this is what it has been so success really never ever mattered to me in that sense yes the kind of thing thing that really mattered to me was what kind of work i do and as long as my work is being liked by my audience and i'm being appreciated or in, liked enjoyed by my audiences i've always been fine so i think that contentment that was there in me from the very beginning and that really keeps me going yes so priya has a great facility for happiness yeah she does mm. <laughs> oh that's so nice thank yeah. you so much thank i think you. i've learned so much oh and though i always wanted to be 16 i'm really looking forward to yes, it yes, yes. thank Please you do. that's thank amazing you. thank you so much my two icons thank you very much. much thank you lovely thank chatting you. lovely you. chatting that was awesome that was lovely um the most important thing is we found out they were sisters yeah if wild you, if you've told us that in the past i it didn't click no nope. <laughs> <laughs> did talk. not did not click at all talk about a goddamn yeah really mind of acting mind family. blowing obviously i knew the separate two but <laughs> the fact that they're just all mind blowing together and they're all so talented actors yeah like in terms of i know there's big the pores right and, and obviously a lot of them are really talented actors and stuff like that but like every single one of these yeah. is a thespian i don't know if there's a better thespian family out there you could have to tell me who you think that would be because man i did not know that yep um yeah and it's uh it was so interesting obviously they're they're talented actors of usually the most talented actors are the ones that have always loved theater a long a long time it just almost goes hand in hand a lot yeah. of times because that's um i mean essentially the birthplace of acting is just performing in front of people right it is so i mean yep. i guess you you don't have to have an audience to act but it helps <laughs> <laughs> i would i would beg to differ i would say you have to have an audience to act cuz who are you doing it for yourself so, really so if you're doing rehearsal nobody's there you're not acting so here yeah i'm talking technicals so, right now. technicals right so someone who learns lines yeah. and runs their lines by themselves over and over again by themselves for their entire life never does it in front of a human being once I'm, they're not an actor that's true i'm ah. saying are they acting they're acting at the point. I'm talking at the technical level. Oh, they are acting. They're acting but they're not actors. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. I'm saying I yeah. was saying to act, do you have to have an audience? No. To be an actor, do you have to have acted? Oh, oh, oh okay, things? I see. Sure. I get the I get the differentiation you're talking about. But yeah. If you're if I, I, I agree with that. If I'm here and I'm just performing my scene alone, I'm acting. Absolutely. 100%. Um, but yes, if, yes. if you the scenario you gave, the, I wouldn't call them an actor. Right. <laughs> they haven't like either done it professionally or tried to yeah it's an interesting it's an interesting distinction because it's true you don't need an audience to be acting but you do need an audience to be an actor just like i think if you've i would never consider myself an editor i've edited a bunch of stuff but if i've not done it professionally yeah i don't think i could be called an editor right like i don't think i well and it goes back to for me because the differentiation i add something onto this to sanford meisner's definition of what is acting because meisner said acting is living truthfully <clears throat> under imaginary circumstances yeah um that's true i think but it, it also needs to i add to that 
acting is living truthfully under imaginary circumstances and being believable doing it. Because if you're doing it and there isn't someone to watch you and believe you doing it, I, I think it's it's missing the that, the that, element of acting that it's designed to be. That would also its purpose be determining on um, if the intent of the thing is to be believable as well. I think it always is the intent. Well, like Monty Python, I don't believe he's a knight. I just. I, it, they were just doing a shtick and it was funny. I think they're still acting. So I, I think I'd put a caveat on that. If the intent is to be believable, then yes, they, obviously you, that needs to be a preface. But there's other things that different types, as you know, um, the the vaudeville and... Uh, well, yeah, that era. differentiates that, actor from entertainer. I don't, yeah, I don't ever, like there's a lot of times where I don't believe that Charlie Chaplin was whatever he was doing at that moment, not the... Not the um, What's his famous one? Was it called the uh, the Tramp? The Tramp. Yeah, that I believe, obviously. But like, if he does different things at that time, it was just to be funny, right? It wasn't to believe he was this thing, right? It that was... that that for me is so. There's a distinction there. I think they go between being an actor and an entertainer when you're talking about those aspects of it. Um, but yeah, yeah. So it's, this was great. I, yeah, I, I, I loved it. I would one. love to hear them talk more about craft yeah, specificity. Yeah. The fact that their sister still blows my mind. Yeah. Um, also, if you are part of a Billion family, I am part of a Billion family. <laughs> I've heard people in the past, like when they're talking, um, they're talking, they have a kid, and they had, like, oh, no, there was this person who was the interview that said um, they had stepkids all their life, and they, he always wanted to have a, a kid with his wife. Mm -hmm. And... Um, they, they kept trying, kept trying, they eventually had it. And what he said was, and then I had my real son. Oh, my stars. Like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> wow. I would be devastated if my stepdad of course. ever said That's cruel. that. cruel. About, because I consider him, even though I have a real father, who I have a great relationship with, um, if my stepdad ever said my real son, who he has a real son, his John, my stepbrother, and my half-brother, who is, his name is Dylan, my youngest brother, um, me and my older brother are his stepchildren. But if he ever said, my real kid, John, yeah. I would be heartbroken. <laughs> my my mom's dad. Because I consider him my real Yeah, dad. my mom's biological father, his name was Tony Chirico, I never met the man. I've never met or known my biological grandfather on my mother's side. Mm -hmm. The only grandfather I ever know was, Vin was Vinnie Gallo, who... Thankfully, they, my grandma liked Italian men, so we, I was biologically Italian, and I still had an Italian grandpa. So he became her adoptive parent when she was, I think, around four or five years old, right? Never, never did it ever, was it stated by anyone in my family at any time, step. Yeah. That was grandpa, and I was his grandson. No, yeah. It was never... I don't even remember the day I found out he wasn't my biological grandpa and, and finding out there was an Anthony Chirico. It happened when I was really, really young, but it didn't even register to me because Vinny Gallo was my grandpa. Yeah. the uh, I was never introduced as my stepdad's or my mom never introduced my other brothers, my, my stepbrother and uh, half bro or uh, my, yeah, my, my stepbrother. She never introduced him as these are my, my sons. This is my stepson. She never, it was always, these are my kids. Right. Like, exactly. Don't no, make that. These are my kids. They're your children. Yeah. Yeah. Once you marry in and you decide to be a unit. Exactly. These are, there's no distinction between a stepchild and a real child. Yep. It gets more complicated, obviously, the older they get because you know, and they know that you're the stepchildren, but as a parent, it should be no distinction between the two of you. <laughs> that, Agreed. Oh, I can't imagine the amount of heartbreak I would have if my stepdad ever said, my real son, and this is my steps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know I am, but don't say that. Yeah. <laughs> Agreed. Super weird. Anyways, uh, also, I didn't know she was in Lipstick Under My Burka. Makes me want to save it even more. I've uh, heard a lot of good stuff about that movie. Uh, anyways, let us know uh, what the next film of both of theirs that we mm -hmm. should watch and other interviews we can react to down below. Josh!